Fresh off winning the Battle of the Boulevard, the Holy Cross Knights headed out to Long Island Saturday to take on the defending Catholic High School Football League champions, the Flyers of Chaminade High School. In the semifinals of the playoffs, the number two ranked Flyers earned a 24-12 win over Holy Cross. Chaminade returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown and added a safety to take a 9-0 lead early. We came up with the energy in the first half, but just every play counts, like you see. First play of the game, that they took one to the house. Safety, little things, this is football, man, it's little things matter. At halftime, the Knights trailed 24-0, but that did not stop them from attempting a comeback. Senior running back Brandon Peltzer scored on a one-yard touchdown run, and senior defensive back Dewani Wiles Sigletary returned a Chaminade fumble 46 yards for a score to make things interesting. The first half, they pounced on us, we played a hard second half. The, the score in the second half was 12 nothing, but like I said, that wasn't enough. But the football game, you gotta start hard and finish hard. The whole game, no in-betweens. Holy Cross, we don't quit. <laughs> that has always been our motto, and the kids really, they, they played. I'm proud of them. They overachieved this year without a quarterback. We built the running game, game probably week six, and we did okay. Chaminade is always a tough opponent, so Coach Pugh couldn't be any prouder of the way his team has played all season. I am very proud, very proud. Uh, I'm always, it's the way we play. And Tim Smith did a great job with the defense this year. We were the best defense, I think in the league, and I still think so. Everything coaches preach on um, family, you know, we, the whole football um, team's together all year round, and just, it's a tight-knit group, you know, and a loss like this, you know, and I won't play with these guys again, you know, it hurts. This football stuff is just like, like just like life. The dojo you curveballs is like how you bounce back. That's how I feel. And I like how my team bounced back in that second half, like, but it still wasn't enough, but, I, like, I, like, I, love, I love how they bounce back. I love every single person on my team. Though the team will lose a few key seniors, the future looks bright for the Knights. You know, it's a good step for the program, you knowing getting Holy Cross um, football back to where it needs to be and where it should be. You know, we got good um, underclassmen coming up to varsity. We got good juniors on varsity right now, so next year should be a good year. I think our offensive line really came around, so we're looking forward to that next year. Be a little bit more, uh, you know, They'll be seasoned. They're all juniors. There's no senior on the line. Coach Pugh was sure to leave his seniors with an important piece of advice. He just um, always tells us, you know, play like it's your last down, play like it's your last game. You know, this proves it right here. I mean, this is my last game, and you want to be proud every time you step off that field that you did the best that you could. Chaminade will face number one ranked St. Anthony's this weekend in a rematch of last year's championship. But as for the Knights, they'll regroup this winter and prepare for another successful season next fall. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.